talk about the uh, the kid that managed to sneak up onto the stage during the Game of the Awards, <laughs> the Game of the Year announcement, uh, and shout out Bill Clinton, his uh, his Orthodox uh, was it Orthodox Rabbi Bill Clinton or something like that. That was it is the strangest thing ever. I honestly thought that kid was part of the team. I thought it was weird that there'd be a kid up there, but um, especially since Elden Ring doesn't really have like any children voice actors, from what I know. Um, but you know, kudos to him for even being able to get up on that stage and mask his presence for as long as he did. Um, it looks like he was arrested afterwards, but I think he was released. Um, I'm, what, I'm not 100% certain uh, if the kid got released, but uh, brave kid, man. Um, I I hope somebody paid him to do that. Um, and I, I'm I'm hoping that it literally just ended at a. Uh, like a tap on the finger and the they say no because that act could have ended so much poorly than it uh, potentially did oh excuse me but yeah I hope that other people going forward don't try to follow this kid's example um, that's definitely not something you want to do um, because at any point in time, or in a situation like that, um, and I can't speak for other people, but I know personally, I would assume that, I would look at him and I'm like, yo, is this kid trying to do something like shank, uh, shank a person or something like that? Um, and then I would have immediately tackled the kid and whatnot. Um, and in other situations, he could have got himself killed. Um, if he did that in other situations where they're not as likely to be forgiving of pranks like that. And in all honesty, a prank like that is not worth your safety. It was funny as heck, though. Um, and I'm sure we're all going to remember this for ever, but, uh, I, I personally would not have risked my own safety for a prank. And, and not even a prank that he's going to get play, uh, paid for. It's literally just a prank that he decided to do. But other than that... Trying to get this 1.5 mil to train up these three Pokemon real quick. Yeah, I need to I need to check on the uh, this the the EV boost for like Carb uh, Carbos and whatnot. I heard that this game they increase the amount of points that you get from like the Carbos and whatnot. Um, I'm still working on my team though. I have the armor rouge I'm gonna use. I have the I'm working on the Miascarada. I made a Skeledurge too, just because um, I was breeding uh Foy Coco for the wife for her Pokedex. Um and I just I guess I just decided to go ahead and use the Skeledurge. I was like, you know what? Since I'm breeding it already, I might as well try to breed a uh, a competitive Skeledurge. Um, so I made a, a SP uh, SP SPTK one. Don't forget to detrain them. No, I'm not. I bring. I bred all of mine from scratch. I'm not going to use any of the ones that I trained for. None of the ones that I have currently have good IVs. Um, so I just decided to do it from scratch. So that I can have, you know, Pokemon with good IVs. 
Um, I managed to get a 5 ID uh, Japanese Ditto um, through Wonder Trade. Um, and I've been using that. I've been using that and the, uh, the, the Everstone mechanic to, uh, trade down, uh, natures. I'd like, I would breed a few of them just so I can get the nature that I want, um, for my, uh, Pokemon. And once I get that nature, then I'll take that one and then I'll breed that one down, uh, along with the Destiny Knot Ditto to get the, the IVs that I want. Pass the Ivy Sessions, you use the bottle caps. So, where do you use the bottle caps at? And what do the bottle caps do again? You only detrained your shiny belly boat and scrap the others? So, are you able to max out? A specific IV using the the bottle caps. I'm still not quite familiar with how D training works. It makes the IVs perfect, Montenegro. Does it make all the IVs perfect, or is it specific IVs are made perfect? Twenty-three perfect here. The training is done by feeding them specific berries. Do the berries themselves state that it detrains a Pokemon, or do I need to look up a guide on which berries detrain what? Stun Cloud! Searing Fog! Heat Mirage! It says what to do with the berries? Okay. Oh, so then I might just go and make perfect. Because I think all the Pokemon that I have right now for my comp team have five perfect IVs. And either one very good or one decent. I think I might just go ahead and uh, make, every, make all of them have six perfect IVs. I think I have like four battle caps. I've been getting a lot of battle caps from uh, five star raids, which is unfortunate because what I really want are the Herba Mysticus, but I'm getting battle caps. I think I've been here before. Yeah, I, I'm going backwards, aren't I? Yeah, I just went backwards. Some IVs you don't mind if they're bad, depending on the Pokemon. Like, it, if you don't want speed on them, and yeah. But right now, the Pokemon I have, I, I definitely want their speed up. Miascarada and Amarouge, I definitely want their speed up. I think Armor Rouge has bad, uh... HP IVs though, which I don't like. I can't tell if I went backwards, forwards, left or right. I feel like I went backwards. 
Because that, that door that I went through before was the beginning of the, uh... Uh, the dungeon. Quote-unquote. That's a giant lizard. There's a big boy. Is he... Did he defend? Oof, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Ooh, see what you get. These Johns are intrusive. To say the least. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Okay, this was the room I wanted to be in. We want to do, uh. Water power! Back, back! Should be able to get over to the other side now. I need to think of my defensive Pokemon that I want. I'm thinking of doing an Umbreon, Sylveon type deal for defensive Pokemon. I'm not certain. Or maybe an Arborvola. I also contemplate using Hatchreen. Uh, because I could use her as a pseudo attacker, but she's mostly for heals. You're adding Murkrow, Grimmsnow, and Mungus? Why Murkrow specifically and not, uh... Uh, what's dude's called? Uh, Hodgecrow. And are you doing this because you like those Pokemon, or are you doing this because that's what everybody else is doing? Like, are they the, are those the recommended competitive Pokemon from a list of like recommended competitive Pokemon? I don't know why I exited the room because I'm personally just making a team based off of what I enjoy. I feel like Pokemon is one of those few uh, video games that you can make a team competent as long as you know how team building works. They're the best supporters right now. See, so yeah, I figured as much. I'm, I'm just going to pick supporters that I enjoy, though. <laughs> I think I know enough about, you know, team build synergy to be able to make any type of supporter a good, uh, a good pick. That's, that's how things end up becoming boring. Kind of like what TCG is now. Where I don't think it's like super boring now, but it has the potential of becoming incredibly boring if the meta is always just everybody playing uh, Lugia. Then, then all the matches you ever see is just mirror matches of the same thing. That's always been a big reason why I didn't watch a lot of... Uh, competitive uh, VGC because a lot of the times it was just the same people and uh, not same people different people playing the same exact you know monster build ah crap 
crap face, you can't go this way, and now I'm gonna get locked back into final, uh, may may maybe there's a way to get, like, slide down the, oh no, it stayed in place, sweet. I made your team that way until you got your butt hit kicked. I had an all Sandstorm team and it was getting bodied by the meta. Well, yeah, you were trying to play around Sandstorm itself, whereas I'm, per I'm personally going to be playing around Pokemon stats and attacks. So, for instance, my tank, which will be Umbreon, will, of course, be tanky. But I'm going to have, like, moves that increase its uh, special defense, defense, and whatnot like that. Um, on top of maybe Toxic. Um, and then, uh, Healing Toxic, a uh, thing that increases my defense or something like that. And then Baton Pass, so that I can swap her out and switch those stats, uh, or give those stats to whoever, you know, takes her, its place. Attackers seem to vary, but the supporters, uh, are pretty much the same. Yeah, that, that's the sad part, and that's what I'm going to try to see if I can change. Like, can I make a non-meta supporter be a thing? I think there was a list posted online, right? For all the best supporters, right? I need to locate that list so I know which supporters not to pick. <laughs> I mean, if the supporters line up with my, you know, my ideal of okay, this is my one of my favorite Pokemon, then that's that's one thing. I I don't mind picking a supporter based off of that. Oh, this is the big room. This is the big room. Okay, so it's gonna go here. Um. Okay, I see what I need. So I need to move this out the way. Um, I want to move this where that was. So it should hit here. Ah, crap. I wasn't supposed to push it. Should hit there. Just make sure I have an answer for Trick Room and Tailwind. Yeah, that, that's going to be the tough part, is just making sure you're dealing with Trick Room and Tailwind. But I, I also use Garganackle, so... Um, and Garganackle seems to be a pretty defensive Pokemon. Overall. Also, I love that name, Garganackle. There's also a few, a few new abilities that can prevent your opponent from passing on or changes of, of stats. I heard about that, but I don't know what the name of those abilities are. underneath it to push it so I just use move. Alright, now we have to double douse. I thought that was douse and not frost. I feel so terrible. Double douse. So we can fill it with water. And... and I said double douse. That was one douse. Now this is the double douse. Oh, I got... So we can activate the, uh... That puzzle felt long as all heck. Garchomp, Tyranitar, Houndstone, Glimora, uh, Garganackle, and Hippowden. I also need to look up all their, uh, abilities.
Shortcut. Let's go. Me and Shortcuts are friends. You'll definitely see Tailwind 8 of 10 games. Oh, I'm certain. I am certain. Hate Tailwind. And you... I mean, I get it, though. That extra speed's kind of hard to pass up on. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's a mimic. It's been a while since I run to one of these guys. You can die in a fire. Wow, that's the first time in a long time that I've gotten just a, a standard critical strike. He dead. He's super dead. I got a potion from that too. Which is unfortunate because I was kind of hoping for water of life. But you know, you take what you can get, right? Also, if you're ready, how was your day? I don't think I ever asked you that. Okay, we're going this way. We're going over here. The whole goal is to get into the center so we can do this. We wanted the Aquarius Stone. Um... Now the question is, what's the best way to get back to... I think it's this way. This same duo of monsters has been constantly plaguing me, and it's kind of annoying now. How dare you, Megiddo... After the fact, like, you're supposed to do that before he attacks so that we don't get murdered by it. I feel like I'm cheating now, though, this early Soul Blade. Murkrow, Goldingo, Wimpsnarl, Garchomp, Houndstone, and Tyranitar. Will most likely be in your new team. Oh, you're jumping on the Gold Dingo hype train. Like, the moment I heard that everybody's using Gold Dingo, I immediately was like, guess who's not using Gold Dingo? <laughs> This guy, right here. Switch Gold Dingo into your team a while back before, uh, for Hip Hop on. Oh, I was like, why can't I? I gotta go around. I'm trying to walk off a cliff. Wielder of water strength, lay your hands upon this stone. If thou art worthy, the power to drain away the standing water shall be yours. Water strength, huh? That sounds like my sort of thing, doesn't it? I need a special attacker, and he's just the best available. Pierce tried to touch the stone sleep. Learned Parch. What went wrong? What are we going to do, Felix? Maybe our power is being tested.
Drain! They thought to trap me with water. Alright, so now what we need to do is we need to go and... For one, get that uh, treasure chest that's in this next room over. And then we need to also uh, garner that uh, Mercury Jenny that's in here. Porch! After one nasty plot, he can one hit KO most Pokemon. Yeah, I heard he is a hard hitter. Um, been seeing a lot of people saying they're running uh, like Focus Sash and whatnot on it just to make sure he doesn't get smurfed by something. Uh, where's that Jenny at? Didn't feel like dealing with the fairies, so I just ran. Those fairies can be kind of annoying. I tried to run from this one, and it was a bad idea. Note to self, don't run from the dragon um, or, and the rock. Dang it, Pierce, be faster. Alright, that's a dead sea dragon. You love Gargan Echo or leftovers? I need to buy the rest of the battle items, like leftovers and whatnot. That's gonna cost me so much money, isn't it? I feel poor just thinking about it. Port. The more I will look at the Soul Blade, the more I want to just put it back and <laughs> sell it for money and just get the original one that you get later on. Like, it's fun being this OP, but I kind of want to go back to being uh, non-OP. Let's save real quick. Let's create a restore point as well. That way if we end up murdering it, we can return here. Give me a second. I have a lot of alerts chat. I'm gonna clear them off my phone. Who the heck is that my... Did Amazon really just drop a package off this late at night? You know what? I think it might be my Santa hat. <laughs> Give me a second chat. I need to grab this package off the porch. It's late and I don't want nobody taking it. Excuse me.
Snapchat. I'm back. Package for me. It's my Santa hat. The other one. You want to change this terror type to grass? Why to grass exactly? Is that one size fits all? This looks like it's gonna be big on my head. Oh no, it does fit. There we go. Green Santa hat. It's not as fluffy as I thought it was going to be, which is a little disappointing. Because the pictures made it look like it was going to be really fluffy. Okay, sorry about that. Let's get back to it. Helps with its weakness. I guess it will remove the water and grass weakness. But in the same matter, it also gives him flying uh, weakness, uh, fire weakness. Ice weakness. I mean, he always had ice weakness, but. So I kind of feel like he'll have just as many weaknesses in that form as he would with. His normal terror type, you know? At which point I probably would. Prefer, I would. I mean, and this is just me. I would, at that point, pri prioritize just having regular. Uh, Stab bonus for our attacks. Yeah, it's 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 impossible, which is unfortunate. But I mean, I guess I get it. She can't find her pacifier. And she's up. God dang it. Baby can't find a pacifier, so she's up now. Or is it in her hand? No, it's in her hand. So she's just up. God darn it. She's had really good nights the last few nights. Um, I guess tonight's one of those nights where she's just going to be that person. Unfortunate. Just a wall that can attack for me for you, not a primary attacker. Yeah, which is probably what he is for most people if it, if they're if they're using him. I imagine at least most people who are using him are probably using him as a, a wall. I said, like, did I just break the game? I think I'm done here now. I can just like leave. I don't know why you just teleport out. Body with the chance of stun. Which reminds me, I have to come back to these islands because I need to get the uh I gotta grab the uh, Jupiter Jenny that's hiding over here too. Be back. Sounds good. Ba 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 ba. I await your return. Also, for everybody else still here in chat, welcome 
to the stream. I hope you, um, for everybody that's still in chat, for everybody that's new to the channel, welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here. You are here with the Brushy89. Brushy89 and his Brushy family. We are happy to have you here. Hope you guys are enjoying yourself the, um, so far. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to voice them. Um, I will do my best to answer any questions you may have about um, myself and or this game. Um, for those of you who don't know, we are playing through Golden Sun, The Lost Age. We've already beaten Golden Sun, the original. Um, now we're playing through Lost Age. This is all part of our Golden Sun Retro RPG Spotlight series, uh, in which we go through... Um, we're going through all of the Golden Sun series, um, live on stream. Um, I also be putting this on YouTube, um, in case you aren't able to catch it live. Um, but basically, the art, what the Retro RPG Spotlight series is, is a way for us to shine a light on older um, RPGs um, that many might not know about. Um, many might not know about, and I feel like they should. So here we are showcasing, you know, said games. Um, for the wide world to see. Um, we're doing the Golden Sun series now. Um, in the spring, we'll most likely do another series. I think I already have one lined up uh, called the uh, Botan Kaito series. I believe it's what it's called. I think it's a GameCube game. Um, I'm going to see if I can find the original GameCube version. Then we'll play it on the Wii. Um, otherwise, we'll have to emulate it. But I'm going to look up and see if I can find the GameCube version and buy that so that we don't have to play the Wii version. I mean, not the Wii version. We don't have to play the emulated version. Um, and then after that, I'm thinking that we play through the either the Super Mario RPG or we play through the Paper Mario series. Um, I don't know if we're going to play all the Paper Marios. I think we'll play Paper Mario 1, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Um... Like the big console ones, uh, Color Splash. I've never played that one. Uh, Super Mario Party, I'm uh, Super Paper Mario, and uh, what's that other one? God, it's gonna take us forever. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe we'll just play the older Paper Mario. So all the way up to uh, I don't consider Wii U retro yet. So we'll play up to uh, Super Paper Mario. Cause I I think that's the oldest console one. Otherwise, we'll be here literally forever, because Paper Mario Thousand Year Door already takes forever. Especially if you're trying to get on, get into all the nooks and crannies. Just had to burn some items. Oil drop! Kind of wasted that last item, didn't I? Oh, you know, this is not where I thought it was. Yeah, this is not where I thought it was going to be. Um, let me mind read. Cashville, just in case there's something hidden there. Oh, Poseidon hasn't surfaced again. He was once a king, but now he's a monster. Wonder what happened. Apparently, he's making the water warmer, which is uh, causing the fish to migrate away. Which I guess makes sense. I believe fish have always been creatures that didn't really like warm water. 
ba ba da boo boo ba da ba dee da boo ba. As soon as I can buy more weapons, though, I'm going to be getting rid of the Soul Blade. I'm going to sell it. I can always rebuy it. Uh, but I, I don't know. It was nice to know that that trick existed. But it, I just feel really weird being this OP this early on. This area is my favorite area, by the way. I love the music for this zone. 